Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, we've already talked about MetaHuman. A whole lot of you guys have taken a look at several videos about it. And there is one constant question that has been coming up ever since we talked about the source file. And that is how can you retarget and also work with motion capture data alongside the MetaHuman source file. And today, we're going to go ahead and talk about these things and look at all the tiny problems that you'll be facing and how to overcome this. And before we get right into it, a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Simply stick around to see how you can get access to free premium tutorials and learning materials on Skillshare. So the last time we talked about the MetaHuman and talked about the source file, we did say that you would need to have Quixel Bridge. So Quixel Bridge seems to be the only way that you can get the source file from the online store or the way you can get the MetaHuman preset. So once you get this, if you want to download the source file, you can go over to the gear icon right here Go over to download settings and go over to models and make sure you have the source file. From here is where you can select the kind of file type that you want. If it's FBX, OBJ, Alembic, and then you can also download whatever type of textures that you want. And once you have these things downloaded, you can now click on this button and then go over to the files. If you would like to see the main file, what I would suggest you do is click on this tiny button right here and go over to the files and once you open up the folder you would notice that we have the 8k folder which directly translates to the 8k resolution let's double click that and open up the asset source open up meta humans and then you would notice we have the common wallace which is the name of the character and the workspace we're going to dive into wallace one more time and go over to the source asset and right here you would notice we have two source files the very first file is the fully rigged file which we already talked about previously and that is a file that gets exported directly from quicksell this comes with all the facial joints and you know every single thing that you want and this other one is more like the easy to use file this one doesn't come with all of that complexities and we're going to use this one as an example and then dial back to the full rig so to get started with this i'm just going to bring this down to the second monitor jump right over to maya click, drag, and load this right here. So two things you would notice. One of the things you would notice if you load MetaHuman is that the orientation within your viewports actually changes. So if you're loading this from the Quixel bridge, you would notice a sort of weird alteration in how your navigation actually works. But then if you just simply click and drag, you would notice that the MetaHuman loads up in this way, all right? So it kind of loads up in a half 90 degrees sort of things so for you to get things working you need to select the root joint and go over to where you have your rotate by x and then set this to minus 90. so we're just going to set this one to minus 90 press the enter key and we have it right here so this is the meta human character and then you would notice we have the joint so with this joint here if we click on this button we can x-ray the joint and see what we have Right now, we want to focus on working on the joint and then we'll go back later and load up the model. And to get things happening, what we need is to turn this off so that we have that there. And then we would need the motion capture file that will drive this model. And to get that motion capture file, we would actually rely on a very simple motion capture set of files that exist right here with Maya, which is made available by the folks at Rococo. So to get that happening, we'll go over to Windows, go down here to where you have animation, and you'd notice we have the motion library. So I'm just gonna click on the motion library right here and that will pop up a new window which will load up several motions that you can actually get for free. So once this loads up, we're going to take a look at some of the free ones and use this to drive this model. So for this, I will click on price and then this will filter and you can see we have some very free ones. So let's take a look at some of them and see which of them we can take. So I kind of think we might need something that is a bit more active Let's see, running with weapon looks cool. So maybe we can use something like that. And I'm just gonna click on this button, download this, and then load it directly onto our scene. So with this downloaded, all we need to do is just click once and this gets loaded directly into your scene. And you would notice that it's exactly here. Let's click on the reference node, click right here within the move, move this to one side and go over to where we have the human IK. Now, if you don't have the human IK directly on you know your viewport what you need to do is go over to windows go right here to where you have animation and then click on human ik and once you click on that you would notice that the human ik automatically loads up so if we now click on the character you would notice we have the default character which deals with this character of course this is already defined and then you can see that from here and then if we click right over here and take a look at this you would notice we have character one and character rom 
right now i would like to delete some of this so let's go ahead and delete this one by clicking on the button and saying yes to it and maybe we can also delete these other ones so that you guys can see how to set up yours so let's also delete that and say yes now we need a brand new character definition for the meta human so to do that we'll go from here to none and then you would notice that we have the character definition so we'll click on create character definition and right here is where we can start defining these characters so we'd like to quickly define this double click on any of this joint and select the respective joint so i'm also going to do that here select this joint go right here double click on the heap select that heap and would need this to be the reference node so let's double click select that reference node double click right here select this one as well and then we can also do some cool stuff so i can also double click right here make sure i have this one selected and we can go all the way in double click make sure you have this make sure you have this other one let's also make these and then finally we're going to have this for the spines so also go all the way up double click and make sure we have this selected double click make sure you have this selected double click and then you can also select these for the wrist and now in terms of the shoulder if we click on this tiny button we can double click on the right shoulder and select this as the right shoulder and i want you guys to notice that automatically maya actually assigns the mirrored part of the model which makes it very easy for anyone who is trying to define the character so i'm also going to double click right here and select this to be the neck joint and this is also going to be a second neck joint and finally we would have this part as the head so right now this is looking pretty nice now if we go in and lock this which will create the character definition for us and select the none which is going to be the source which is this source and select the character because this is for that one we can get a very cool animation happening but i want you guys to notice that as much as this animation is happening right here we are actually getting the hands looking really really bad and the reason why the hands are looking this bad is because by default the hands are not in a t pose so first things first you need to set the hands to, to be in t pose before you proceed and to do this what we need to do is to switch from the source back to the stance pose which will take it back to this point and then we would make sure that we have this within the definition turned off so we're just going to make sure that we have this one opened we'll go over to the channel box and then select the arm and from there we would go over to the rotation and set this rotation to something like 55 so let's set this to minus 55 press the enter key just to make sure we have that there and then we're also going to select this other one go over to rotation and set this to 36 that way we have something looking this good so if you go over to the human ik you would notice it's set to all green which looks really really good so we're also going to do the same thing here go over to the channel box go to your rotation y and then set this to minus 55 press the enter key and then go over to rotation z for this other one and then we would set this to minus 30 actually we're just going to set this to 36 and press the enter key so once we have this ready, if we go back to the human IK, you'd notice that everything we have here are all green. So click on this button to lock this. All right. So you now have a definition. Now, if you click on the source and go over to character, which actually defines this character, we can now drive this character one, which is the meta human character with the character. And of course, the movement is going to look even way better. So if we press the playback button now, you would now notice that we have the movement looking really cool so let's drive this with a mesh and see what we can get so we're also going to go over to where we have the channel box and now turn on the model so once we turn on the model and actually you know turn off all of these x-rays let's go ahead and select this reference press h on the keyboard to hide it so this way you can retarget your motion capture files to your meta human characters so we can actually go back press the playback button and of course you can see this now for those who are thinking about exporting these back to unreal engine and using it directly in unreal engine or maybe you want to tweak this how you can get going with this is go over to the human ik and right here within this big blue button click right there and bake this to either the skeleton or the control rig so if you would like to just export this directly 
to your game engine you don't want to tweak this just simply click on bake to skeleton but of course if you like to add a couple of tweaks then bake to control rig so for this one i'm just going to click right here to bake to control rig so just in case you know just in case you would like to add a couple of tweaks later on this is also going to be very very useful for you guys but of course for those who would like to you know export this out the same way that they have it you can bake to skeleton and that's going to be super easy so while this is baking let's take a look at what the metahuman looks like for the major source file so if you open up the metahuman source file by simply clicking and dragging this is what you would get once you send this from the quick sell bridge directly to maya this would appear differently so once you have this all you need to do is click go over to where you have your rotation set this to minus 90 degrees and you have it here so one of the questions you guys might be asking is how can you retarget motion capture files to this version of the metahuman character and how to do this is pretty simple meanwhile if you're actually working with the metahuman source file you might fall into this problem of once you zoom in the joints disappear and to fix this all you need to do is turn on the texture and turn it back off and right now you'll notice it simply stays and if we also go in and turn off the body and also turn off the head you would notice we have a much more complex looking joint but the joint that matters for motion capture is just this one and how can you isolate this particular one how you can do that is simply select this go right here and click on this button to create a brand new layer or you can click on this button right here to create a brand new layer with this joint added so i'm just going to go ahead and click that and create a brand new layer and hide this and once i have those hidden this right now doesn't really matter so at this point you can now make a group selection click to add this to a brand new layer and then close that and now you can reveal this one and of course use this and retarget motion capture files to it and that's how you work with this version of the meta human model so if we dive back to the previous version of maya which we're working with you would notice that we have the animation actually working so this way you can now easily retarget stuff directly to your model and you can go in and start doing some very creative and quite interesting things and this is more like it and for those that are thinking about learning more about motion capture and also how you can get good with it either you're working with maya blender you can simply go over to skillshare as they have tons and tons of cool courses and you're actually learning from real people within the industry that does have a good number of experience and also a couple of skills that you can pick from and of course for those who like to learn a whole lot of things maybe you want to learn even way more stuff that deals with both maya blender and any other 3d app right here on skillshare you'll find tons of courses that can appeal to what you're looking for so there's going to be a link in the description for the first 1000 people you'll be getting an extra free 14 day trial which can get you up to speed with any of the courses that you're looking for and of course a huge shout out to the folks at skillshare for making this possible and that's about it for those who would like to learn more stuff from Skillshare, link is going to be in the description. For those who would like to get started with the MetaHuman, link to this is also going to be in the description. Of course, if you want to see a couple of other videos, I've talked about MetaHuman, how you can get the source file, how you can get started with creating your own digital characters, and also working pretty cool with MetaHuman. Link to this is also going to be in the description. So do well to check these things out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.